Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, too, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements out here. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action. It is not about attaining knowledge. And folks, I took, we took action this weekend. I got married yesterday to beautiful Bridget. We've been together for quite some time. <laughs> and if you're in the, well, well, not if you're just watching right now, you're going to see the first picture here is Bridget, I, and that's Edmunds. That's our new German shepherd. <laughs> And then the next picture, he's looking up at us, right? Check that out. And then the next one is, of course, us. And then this is down where we, you know, if you've been down to, you know, Clearwater, St. Pete and all that's beautiful down here. And here's the next one. So we have a whole new adventure to go on. And uh, as that card said, oh, I took action. We took action. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 188, NASDAQ up 10, S&P's down 22. Gold, gold contract down $19.70, trading at 1846 an ounce. We had silver up a buck, $21.38 an ounce. Light Street crude down $2.20, $88.59 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note down 23 ticks, trading 107.11. The 30-year full point plus 11 ticks at 112.14 in King Dollar. It's relentless, folks, okay? King dollar up 736 ticks, trading 106.910. The euro out here at a price point of 104. The yen trading at 149. The British pound at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Just call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well... What you have out here, and, you know, the S&Ps have not held price yet, that's for sure. What you did have on Friday is that you had an, an up day with some good volume, by the way, okay? And the spies, we did $115 million, So those are buyers, man. There's no doubt about it. Um, bottom line is that you're coming into the lows that were generated out here on last Wednesday. Now, you haven't held price. You know, the low, the low for today is 424.46. The high is uh, 428. You have a contraction of volume. So more than likely what's going to happen is that, you know, you're probably going to get out of the bottom of that. And what you're also doing is you're testing the breakout area going all the way back to May. That's what this market's doing right now. And it's going to need a lot of force to break it. If we do keep going up and down right in this area, though, it's a big problem because that would be building cause to blow this thing away. Right now, that wouldn't be building cause because you have higher volume on the way up. You get tremendously low, lower volume on the way down. We go take a look at the QQQ. Now, the Q, this is how you can tell the Q is much stronger than the, the SPY. We take a look at the Q, what you're going to see is that the Q went up on big volume on Friday. We, we did uh, 64 million, and you're doing 41 today, and you're holding price. You know, we didn't get below the lows of Friday. So that says quite a bit. And with the Qs, you're still inside the higher range. The Qs broke its swing last Wednesday for one day and came right above it again. So where the cues go, the market wants to go. Now, notes and bonds. And it, it's notes, bonds, and the dollar that run these markets because the higher the dollar goes, well, the, the, higher, the lower bonds go, the higher rates go, the higher rates go, the higher dollar goes. So if we take a look at this 10-year right now, you're going to see that the 10-year down 23 ticks, and we take a look at it, and you can see this is also coming into the lows, and it's coming in with, yeah, I knew that was. It's 1.4 versus 2.4. I knew, I'm saying to myself, oh, at the update, I'm saying, that doesn't look right. It's, so it's a million contracts shy. Now, that being said, you don't have a rejection of lower price. So the bottom line is you need a rejection of lower price, which we don't have yet. We get over to the gold contract, and, the, the, you know, with this dollar move, 
today, gold really got, well, on Friday, gold really got smoked, too. It's been a one-way trip down. I mean, in, in four days, in five days, gold's gone from uh, 19, yeah, 19, 1935, 19, yeah, 1935 to 1864, I mean, 1842. So when you do take a look at this, if I put this on a generic chart, what you're going to see is the swing point is down there at 1810. Pull this back. And, you know, you're dealing with 1810 here. This is in no man's land right now. So, you know, 1810 is game. And then if we get over and take a look at King Dollar, and this is the kit, this is, you know, this is the deal on King Dollar. What we did with King Dollar, here, let's take a look at it. So, we take a look at King Dollar, so what you have is this. First, you have the lows of the downdraft. Now, on Friday, it closed below those. This morning, you just jump right above them again. So as soon as you jump above them, it's like, okay, man, the swing point out here is the 107,993. Well, that's game, you know? And the deeper that you do actually get into this bar, because when we came down in last November, we came down with a vengeance. You can't, you, we went from 111 to 106. Currencies normally don't do that, folks, okay? That is a monster move of currencies. So the way this is coming back is, is strong. And you can see the correlation between the dollar and the markets uh, pretty direct. And it's pretty direct because of the aspect that, you know, the S&P stocks, okay, bottom line is that they get, you know, 40 to 6% of, of their revenue from overseas. So the stronger the dollar is, the less they're going to make. That's what it comes down to. And also what ends up happening is that when you do get a strong dollar like this, there's plenty of countries that have dollar bonds, and then they're going to pay the dollar bonds back, and that's where you get some vicious downdrafts because the fact of the matter, their currencies are worth so much less as they're trying to pay their debt back. Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 187. Nasdaq's up 9. S&P's down 23. Stay right there. I got a man, Steve Rhodes, coming back. Okay.